The controller of budget, Margaret Nyakango, has weighed in on the ongoing standoff between Kirinyaga County Executive and the County Assembly over the 2020-2021 spending projections. The controller of budget says the County Assembly erred in approving the 2020-2021 County Budget Estimates and Appropriations Bill. The budget estimates whose implementation has since been stayed by the court proposes the reduction of salaries for doctors and nurses. There appears to be no let up in the ongoing impasse between the Kirinyaga County Executive and members of the County Assembly. Governor Anwai Guru on Tuesday got the support of the Controller of Budget, who faulted the ward representatives for violating the law in approving the 2020 2021 budget estimates. So, what we are saying, Chairman, is that uh, the wrong order of things has taken place instead of the County Assembly receiving what is prepared by the CEC, uh, they instead went ahead and prepared the budget themselves. So this we consider to be uh, the wrong order of things. In the estimates, the MCS drastically reduced proposed budgetary allocation to various departments in the county, among them health, whose budget was reduced by a massive 300 million shillings. You cannot cut health care salaries by 300 million and allocate to ward offices. We ground health care in Kinyaka. We close all the hospitals so that we can have offices. We understand the political issues and everybody understands the needs um, to prepare for, for next year. According to the control of budget, Margaret Nyakango, the county assembly contravened the Public Finance Management Act and the accompanying regulations when it altered the executive's budget by more than 1%. I need to report that the, the governor had requested that uh, they be allowed to spend under vote on account so that they could access 50% of their budget. However, with an injunction in place, Chairman, I wish to inform you that the matter gets a little complicated because the only way the county will get the vote on account is through a court order. The world representatives who are expected to appear before the Senate Committee on Devolution are also accused of allocating themselves a hefty development budget amounting to 631 million shillings, part of which will go towards the construction of their ward offices. So I have no doubt in my mind we will find a solution. And uh, like... I see the governor nowadays uh, hanging out with people we used not to hang out uh, a few years ago with. <laughs> so she should not have a problem hanging out with the MCA. It, it will happen. You know? Those th political things just happen today. Tomorrow is different. And I don't think it, it will be difficult for us to, to find a solution. The Kirinyaga County Executive took the legal battle over the contentious allocation to the High Court, where Justice Weldon Kurir issued a conservatory order suspending the implementation of the altered budget until the petition is heard and determined. He also directed that the Appropriation Bill 2020 should not be assented to before the application is heard.